Okay, people, let's help Jason Hayward. My name is Aaron Capista, and this is Cavi's Cage. I'm going to talk about three big problems I see in his stance and swing, and then some solutions I'm going to provide, and then hopefully he can get on with this and make the, the proper adjustments. So I provided a still frame photo, split screen from a game the other day, and I think it says a lot. That's why it's up there, and I'm going to reference it while I'm talking. The first big problem I see is he's not athletic in his stance. He's very flat-footed. He actually has these nervous little ticks that he likes to dig his heels in. And as an athlete and hitter, we want to be in best athletic position to, to, to execute and get off a good swing. He, he starts at a disadvantage by being flat-footed. That weight should be more on the balls of his feet. This will provide better overall balance and body control, a key ingredient, you know, the foundation of being a good hitter. You know, if I get you off balance, I can get you out. That's kind of a pitcher's mentality. And what you see with Hayward a lot is he's off balance. He's not in good athletic position to execute his swing. So get, those, get that weight on the balls of, of your feet more. This is going to put you in a more comfortable balance position. Number two, he makes himself smaller. I think on this split screen left to right, what I mean by this is you see his head position, and you can reference those letters in the back, Bush Stadium, where on the left his head is above that B. By the time he lands his stride foot and starts with the hands and hips in that striking position, you see where his head is? It's below that S right now. His head's moving way too much. That's terrible just because our vision is in our head, so his eyes. He's literally trying to hit 95-mile-an-hour fastballs with head movement up to 2 to 3 feet. That's very hard. And, and, and that split screen, that's the, that's the time. That's only a few seconds from start of Wainwright's windup to the delivery. He's moving his head that much. That's a problem. Not only vision-wise, but his overall body height-wise He's making himself very small. Jason Hayward does not need to do that. He's got long arms. He doesn't need to cheat like that. He needs to trust himself more to get the barrel to the ball with his hands, not his body. I always say more hands, less body. It takes a lot of trust for a hitter to do that. He's almost cheating in a sense. I think to, comp uh, to overcompensate some of his problems, Jason likes to cheat, and this is one of the ways. Too much overall body movement, affecting his vision on the ball with his head movement, and then also lowering his center of gravity. And he's really putting himself in a bad position to, to, to swing. On the right, you see that. That's not a good position to start your swing in. So a little more upright, a little more trust in your hands to get the barrel to the ball, not your body. Number three is his stride foot landing spot. You see Jason on the left starts with an open stance. That's fine. That's quite normal, actually. But by the time he lands his stride foot, he's crossing over and diving in more towards the plate rather than landing those feet in line. What I mean by that is in line is his toes should be lined up, back foot and front foot, when that stride foot lands. This keeps the hips square and locked and ready to explode. When he dives into home plate there, he blocks himself off. And that's a big problem with Hayward is he ties himself up. A lot of his problems are self-inflicted, if not all of them. He puts himself in bad positions to execute. So he's trying to execute a swing against a really tough pitcher, which all pitchers are tough at that level. And he's just not in good position. He's diving in. His, lock, his hips are locked up, and he's fighting himself. His lower body and, and his hands are having a fight. It's why he looks like he's almost in a straitjacket when he's trying to hit, very tied up. And you hear that term a lot, even when the announcers are talking about his at-bats. He's tying himself up. It's exactly what he's doing, but why he's doing it is because he's diving in with his stride foot. Land square, land, land in line with those toes so the hips can be square and work. Uh, and again, that's a trust issue too. Stride foot landing spot is so important for all hitters. It, it's literally putting you in, in good position to strike, and he doesn't do that. So a little more concentration in where that front foot lands, a little more awareness. I think that the big thing, so that's the three big points that I see 
you know, from an outsider's perspective, what a lot of people that follow the Cubs and Jason Hayward see is the the, the change in his hand positions and his stance. I, I think that's not a good change. I think that's a change just to to change something. It's what everybody sees, obviously, and wants to, you know, it makes it look like he's he's made a big adjustment. But I don't see that helping him. You can see from left to right in the pitcher that he just, on the right side, he goes back to that home base anyway, hands by the ears um, when he gets into his load. So for me, for someone who struggles already hitting the fastball, I don't want to put another big move, movement in his swing with his hands anyway. So I'd cut that out. I'd let him start his hands wherever he wants, wherever he feels comfortable. Clearly somebody's told him to start his hands there or suggested that, and he's gone with it. But I don't think that's natural. You know, Jason Hayward's one of the best athletes in the world, and he should definitely put himself in a, in a more natural athletic position. And, and let his his uh, natural abilities take over in the execution of his swing. So those are the big points. I think I think <laughs> I'd love to see this video get to him. Maybe I would like to think some of these issues have been addressed, but obviously there's a lack of communication. They 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 either are being addressed and he, and he's not executing them or they're simply just being overlooked and no one's kind of seen it like this which I, I find probably to be very rare I mean he's working with some really good people but a lot of times some of these hitters at that level put themselves in a little bit of a bubble where they they don't get outside perspective outside looks they're working with you know their old high school hitting coach or college hitting coach or you know the guys within the organization and I always kind of say you know, the sheer odds of the the best person to help you in the world is probably not, you know, work sitting right next to you working for the same company. So to kind of, you know, expand your horizons a little bit and get outside of that bubble it, it can be refreshing. And I think that's what a lot of um, pro hitters really don't don't get get a lot of that. And there's a lot of crap out there, too. And he, he can't just be open to everything. But I think these three points are are very basic in my opinion, it's not it's not a tricked up version and it's not going to really apply a lot of, you know, change and uncomfortability. It's really just talking about the foundation of a good hitter. And that's, you know, being in an athletic position, balance and body control and 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 just, you know, working to simplify getting in good position to execute a swing. And he's doing all of that wrong. He's, he's doing the opposite. He's, he's literally contorting himself into the worst possible position to execute a swing. So thanks for listening. Hopefully this gets in the hands of the right people. I'd love to see him um, have a listen himself and, and see what he thinks. Because truly, I'm doing this to try to help him. And I wish him the best because he's under a lot of pressure right now. He's making huge money. And um, in a city like Chicago, it's going to start getting bad if he doesn't make these adjustments. So best of luck to you.